everyone. Welcome to ANZ Global. Our today's topic is higher education in Russia, which is available for foreign students from all over the world. ANZ Global now is an official representative of the group of Russian state universities, Rakhus. Rakhus was established in 1991, and since that time it recruited more than 20,000 foreign students. I'll refer to the website and some infographics to provide you some more visual support. Rakhus representatives are located in 64 countries, including Australia, Nepal and Bangladesh. I believe that studying in Russia could be a good option for everyone who is looking for a quality education in medicine, engineering, IT, economics or arts. It provides also affordable tuition fees starting from $3,000 for programs in Russian language or $4,000 for programs in English. And this fee already includes tuition, accommodation and life insurance. All the universities are comfortably located in the European part of Russia very close to many popular travel destinations. And good news for all those who doesn't have any uh, English exam, because no IELTS or TOEFL certificates are required to enter the university. Higher education system in Russia is represented by bachelor, master and PhD degrees. Uh, if you want to get a bachelor degree, you need to study for four years, or two years for master's degree, and three years for PhD program. For students in medical programs, uh, they need to study five to six years depending on their chosen specialization. The student can choose to study in English, French or Russian language. Studies in Russian language are available after a foundation course. It's an intensive language program uh, with some subjects related to a future profession. To get the admission to the university in Russia, a student needs to provide the academic certificate with transcripts showing scores over 50%, a passport copy valid at least two years from the start date of the program, and although no evidence of financial capacity is required, a student needs to have enough funds to pay the tuition fees and living expenses during the period of studies. Let's assume that you would like to study economics in English, which is available at Nizhny Novgorod State University. You previously studied mathematics and English at school, and your passport is valid at least until November 2021. That's it, you are likely to be admitted for a Bachelor of Economics in Russia. Hope you now have an idea of the education system and admission process for studies in Russia. You'll find some more useful links under this video, and don't hesitate to contact us at uh, inquiry at for available study options in your field. Пока-пока!